the way. Hi everybody, welcome to the SeaTuck Eco Carnival. Uh, we're doing a little bit different this year, we're doing it digitally, so I'm coming from our backyard, our dogs are outside, we're going to take a look at some insects, we're going to do our insect adventure. My name's Tom Vitti. Uh, I've been working with Sea uh, Tuck and doing some hikes and the Eco Carnival with them for close to 20 years now. Um, I'm also a science teacher in West Islip High School. Uh, and so let's take a look at some insects. So if you have any questions as we're going along, just post them in the comments. Our camera person will relay those uh, questions to me. I'm also out here with uh, our three dogs, so if you see dogs running around. We've got Daisy, Cowboy, and Shaggy. Hopefully they won't start barking and be a distraction, but uh, let's first start to talk about insects, what they are, what they're good for, why we have them. So we're going to take a walk over to uh, my pear tree over here. So I'm just going to grab the camera and zoom in a little bit. So you can see the flowers on our pear tree and without insects as pollinators to pollinate this tree, we have a little pollinator right there. I don't know if you could see it. Let me try to zoom in a little closer. Keep it in focus. So we've got a, a native bee right there pollinating the pear tree so we need to have our fruit so the insects are the pollinators to pollinate the flowers to make the fruit to make the pears so we can eat the pears so that's the beauty of insects so we're gonna go this way and see if we can find some insects you also notice that we keep all of our dandelions because I'm also a honey uh, a beekeeper and honeybees love the dandelions for nectar and pollen. So let's take a walk over and see if we can find some insects. One of the best places to look is just in your, anywhere in your backyard. You want to look in wood piles, you want to look in leaf piles, you want to, if you have a, a firewood rack and Here's Cowboy coming to investigate. Okay, you're in the camera. Come on, move. I gotta go over there. Come on, move, move, move. So what kind of insects are we looking for? We're looking for any kind of insect that is what you would call a bug. So insects, the definition of an insect is they have six legs, three body parts. Spiders are different. Spiders have uh, eight legs. Centipedes, millipedes, isopods are different. They have multiple legs. Um, sometimes the uh, moths and caterpillars that we, um, sorry, moths and butterflies that we see start off as insects because they have three legs, uh, six legs, sorry, and um, they start off as a larva. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll this log. Maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see in a minute or so. Okay, it's still pretty, it's still early spring, so we want to look a little bit deeper. So shove, there's one. There's a little, let me just try to grab him in the shovel. Nope, oh, lost him. There he is. So we've got a little centipede. So centi is a hundred. And if you wanted a if we could, you could pause it and count the legs if you really wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Boy, he's really hanging on there. There we go. We got him out. So these are uh, what we call decomposers. So centipedes are going to consume all of this dead plant material and they're going to turn it into good soil that the forests need to survive. We'll put him back. Yep, hey, he's back. Okay. All right, let's see what else we can find here. We'll look through the leaf litter. Oh, there's some 
jumping bugs. Up, oh, they're moving way too fast. I can't see what they are. Right, let me see what else we got over here. This is good. Usually you look right through leaf litter. It's nice and moist. Insects, bugs love moist, damp, and there's, whoa, there's a huge centipede right there. Oh, we lost him. Hold on. Let's see if we can get him back out again. So this, what you would call dirt, is a mixture of insect poop. And insect poop is the best fertilizer for your garden, for the forest, for the woods, everywhere. Let's see what else we got in here. That was a big centipede. Nope, nothing over there. Okay, let's see. What else we got? These guys move really fast. Now remember, you guys can do this just right in your backyard. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just look in just one corner of your yard where you have like a whole bunch of leaves or some dead, dead wood laying around or some old firewood or even in this bark. We can't see it now, but we can see the evidence of what was what was consuming all this bark and then sometimes if you look outside you can see these little holes these are the holes that woodpeckers would make to try to get to the bugs that are underneath the bark so let's get back in here and see what else we got over here so like i said before it's still a little cold so some of the insects are still in hibernation, a little bit deeper under the, under the ground. So if we don't see any on the surface, we'll just start digging and see what we can find. This is the best dirt money can't buy. That will grow anything. All that insect poop and insect fertilizer. Oh, thought that was a worm. Oh, here's a worm. Here we go. Well, not an insect, but here's an earthworm. And an earthworm does the same thing that insects will do. The earthworm will eat the dirt and poop out fertilizer. So there's your little earthworm guy and again it's it's still cold so the soil is pretty it's still pretty cold so lots of insects are not coming out just yet okay we're gonna roll over another log and see we're gonna roll this one over and see what we see behind underneath this one Oh, it's a big earthworm. Right over here. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, another one right there. All right. So for now, lots of earthworms so far. Let's see what's underneath these leaves over here. Oh, here's a sow bug. All right, so a lot of people call these by different names. They, some people call them roly polies, some people call them sow bugs, some people call them pill bugs because they sometimes roll up. But these guys are in the family called isopods. You, I don't know if you can count how many legs it has. It has a lot of legs, and it's not active because it's still cold, it's still almost in. A dormancy stage but it's got a, a hard armor on the outside to protect it and this is a little guy they grow usually pretty big this is about the size of a rice grain but again these are just like the centipede before these are um, decomposers 
Okay, let's see what else we got over here. Oh, here's a big one. Some of these centipedes bite, so that's why I'm um, wearing gloves. So just, you may want to wear gloves if you're going to pick up a centipede. Some of them do, some of them don't. I don't know which ones do or don't. But if you count, if you see all the segments on the body, every segment has a pair of legs. Ooh, he's gripping on pretty, pretty tight. So if you see, whoops. So if you see each, each segment, come on, he won't turn over. Each segment, there we go. Each segment has, I can't see, I gotta take my glasses off. Each segment has uh, two sets of legs. So you could count the segments and count and see how many legs this guy really has. So the, so far we've seen about three different varieties of centipedes. Here's a whole bunch right down over here. And let's see what else we got. Oh, little, nice soil. Thanks, little peepers. Nice, uh, the soil is really rich back here. I can't wait to dig some of this out to um, put in my garden. Mary Miller says, is it possible to tell the difference between holes in the trees made by birds or man made by insects? Well, if you look, so in the back, these are all insects. These trails are all from insects. But in the front here, oh, there's a spider. Oh, yay. Spiders have eight legs. And there he goes. Okay, but these are, um, now, uh, good, good, good point, Mary, because there are other holes of our invasive pine beetle, and I think... Someone can uh, post and correct me on this, but I think the whole of the southern pine beetle, this, by the way, this all, all this pine was cut down because this was infected with the southern pine beetle about two, three years ago, so I had to cut it down. I think the hole for the southern pine beetle is kind of ovalish, almost like a D, almost like this hole, I think. I'm not, um, I'm not 100% sure, I'd have to Google that. But sometimes you can tell the difference. Usually you can tell the difference between insect holes and um, birds. Let me just run through the... Hey, little peepers. John Kaplan, hello. Uh, potato bugs will crawl. Yep, potato bugs, they've been called that too. Uh, red wigglers, yep. Red wigglers are really good for a worm compost bin if you're going to make one. And the little peepers, they know head, thorax, and abdomen. All right. Yay. MK Madden, I do not sell honey, but I do uh, keep honey. I keep bees at a local farm called Organics Today Farm in East Islip, and they, um, they sell honey. Elisa Miller, hello. Great shirt. It's a classic from two years ago. Good thing I found it. Uh, all right, kids just found a bunch of roly-polies. Carolyn Frank Foster. Yes, there's lots of roly-polies around, especially now, and they come in all different sizes. Okay, we'll hand it back off to the camera operator. All right, so let's, um, got a few minutes left here, so let's see what else we can find. We'll dig a little bit deeper. I got bad shadow here. Uh, earthworms. All right, let's go in a different spot of the of the yard. We're just going to go right behind us here, and go right under the tree here in this bark mulch. And uh, hey, wildflower people, who can ID this wildflower? I know what it is, but let's Lenny Lampel can... is watching. Hi, Lenny. Lenny knows what that is. Arthropoda. Arthropoda, that's the phylum of, the, uh, of all insects, that's segmented bodies. Crabs, lobsters, crawfish, insects, they're all arthropods. All right, so. May Apple, Mary, May Apple. Mary Miller, I can't pronounce your middle name. Mary Miller, she got it. <laughs> she knows what it is. Okay, so if you have mulch in your garden beds, this is also a great place to look for, for insects. All you have to do is just move the mulch pile away a little bit. 
Okay, here's another. This is another uh, centipede. This could be a millipede. Millipedes um, are a little bit longer. Uh, some people think that they have a million legs. They don't really have a million That's legs. Curled up. But again, this guy's all curled up and like still um, dormant. Oh, here's another pill bug. Let me try to grab him without my gloves. Did I get him? Yep. There he is. Try to get that in the sun and the light. Where is he? He's right. Oh, there he is. Oh, we have a lot of shadow here. Want to take him in the sun? So there's another earthworm poking his head out. And... See what else we got here. Just kind of scraping off the first couple of inches of dirt is another earthworm. So as you guys are going out there and looking for bugs and insects, and if you see any and you take a picture of it, send it on to our page and hashtag SeaTuck. So take a picture of any insects you see and hashtag SeaTuck. And we'll be able to see those insects. And if you're not sure what they are, we will try our best to identify identify them for you so you can see what they are. And that's the best part about doing all of this is there's nature right in your backyard. You don't have to go far, especially now with social distancing. You know, we all can't get to where we need to go. But you all can go out in your backyard and you all have dirt in your backyard. Um, so, well, most people have dirt in the backyard, but uh, you can always dig it. This one's, this earthworm is clear. You could see the dirt inside of its gut almost. That's really cool. All right, so we'll put that guy, that guy back. And, okay. All right, so thank you guys for coming to our insect adventure. Um, we're gonna sign off in about a minute or so. And uh, I encourage you all to get outside dig in your backyards, look for insects, just sit and watch, especially if you have dandelions or other flowers just kind of blooming in your yard. Just sit, sit still and watch for a little while and I guarantee you, you'll see insects coming flying in and out of uh, those flowers. And just um, a pro tip, if you're going out in the woods and you're taking a hike and you want to be tick free, this is one of the best things to use, a, lit, a plain old lip roller and just roll it over your pants to get those ticks out if you have any ticks on you and always if you're going out to be um, prepared for ticks is to put the bottoms of your pants inside your socks pull your socks up so they can't really get tuck your shirts in and always that when you're done hiking just use the lip roller and that'll pick up all of the the ticks that you may may have on uh, on you uh, i think that's about it Wait, I have a question. Is there a pit, is there a difference between a pill bug and a roly poly, or are they the same? They're all the same. See, that's the thing with uh, they're all isopods, but also all these common names get so confusing. Roly polies, potato bugs, sow bugs, pill bugs, all mean the same thing. They're all uh, isopods, so that's why common names kind of trip us up a little bit. And if you want to be really cool, and uh, you could learn the Latin name, I don't know the Latin name of our. Uh, native isopod, but uh, it does have a name and that's worldwide. So that's in Latin So you can uh, learn that and use that so every insect does have a Latin name because common names are very confusing But they're all the same and here's Daisy. She came to say hi. Oh, hi Daisy. Okay. Yes we're She has to be the star. We're talking about insects. she eats some insects. All right, so it's 149 so I want to uh, encourage everyone to tune back in at 210 for bird bingo. Oh, Enjoy fun. the rest of the day at the eco carnival and try to get out and find insects. And don't forget if you see find insects, hashtag SeaTuck. And one last thing is once we're all able to get back out again, please I encourage you to be members of SeaTuck and um, watch the calendar because we do a lot of guided hikes and get out into uh, nature on Long Island. So good job, everybody. See Yay, you Tom. Soon. Yay, SeaTuck. Bye. Bye, everyone. here. I did the best I could.